Good morning guys, welcome to a new uh, coffee talk video. My name is Sanne Vloed and today, actually I think I never really told you guys how to pronounce my name. So in Dutch they say Sanne and my last name is Vloed, like, like a flute, kind of. Um, yeah, so um, as you guys might know, uh, this is my apartment in Amsterdam. And I'm here uh, during December just to spend a little bit of time with my family, a little bit of Christmas and yeah, to kind of uh, to see everyone and catch up and yeah, it's just so nice to, so nice to be home as one. So in today's a Coffee Talk video, I actually wanted to take you guys with uh, to something very Dutch, so whoa, I'm so sorry, I'm shaking this camera like crazy. I haven't done my makeup yet, so very barefaced, and I thought I will show you guys quickly how I do like a super, super quick, like tiny little bit of makeup when I like just walk out. So, then I just want to, I'm going to show you right now. There we go, I literally grabbed a Christmas present on a Christmas tree <laughs> to put underneath my camera a bit. Now you guys can at least see me a little bit. So, um, also I got some stuff from Charlotte Tilbury, one of my favorite makeup brands. So I think I'm gonna use like a palette from there. Anyway, I'm going to moisturize my skin with this Ombre Odyssey. This is like a French, um, it's like a French brand. I already put some sunscreen on actually this morning, but hey, never enough layers. So, yeah, so normally I don't really wear that much makeup like when I go outside or like during the day. Um, just if I have like something special or anything. So for now, I think I'm, I'm gonna meet a friend for coffee and then I'm gonna visit my mom. So. I don't really need that much makeup. Um, so what I'm gonna start with is this NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. This is the color two and a half. And I'm just putting a little bit underneath my eyes. I just use concealer a little bit to like cover up some spots and to uh, Get rid of the redness because my skin is quite red like it's super super sensitive i'm such a sensitive girl okay um where's my beauty blender oh my god I'm, i lose like everything here like everything in this big bag let me run upstairs <laughs> Ta -da. okay i'm back a good cardio workout okay just blending this in a little bit. And yeah, I also feel like if it, because it's winter, it, the air is so dry and my skin gets so dry. So I just don't want to put like a lot of foundation on it. And I feel nobody really needs that. I feel with a little bit concealer that it's enough. I like like a fresh transparent skin. And this NARS one just covers up exactly what I want. I'm still out of breath, guys. <laughs> I'm just running up the stairs, back and down. I did a little workout this morning, just like in my living room. Uh, I actually put one of my 10 minute hour workouts on and people. It's like a streaming. So when I'm just like traveling, when I'm here, I can still do, uh, do my uh, workout. Then I'm using this Anastasia brow pencil, it's medium brown. I never go outside without doing my eyebrows. I don't know, they just don't need a lot, but just a tiny, tiny little, tiny little touch. So I'm filling these in. So yesterday I was walking through Amsterdam with my friend Morgan and then 
we walked by this super cute like jewelry store and then we figured out it was actually also a piercing store so we looked at each other and we were like oh my god we want to get a piercing so i got like this you see this tiny tiny little third one Super super cute. So I have like a top one there and then I have two here. I don't know why I'm not wearing this ear is just not really pretty And then this one I have like no all oh, that hurt I have this little little tiny one and then these two now I can even buy more little tiny earrings I'm just obsessed with it. I think this little tiny one is also from Maria Tash So it's super pretty I feel like all my piercings are quite spontaneous. Every time if I would just walk somewhere, I'm like, oh my god, I want one. So. Okay, so, um, let me see the... Oh yeah, okay, this palette I've been using and I really like this. This is x -Rec. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys because I don't know. How to pronounce it. So it's a Charlotte Tilbury one, like super soft, super soft colors, like really pretty. So I start with this one. I'm going to use a little bit of this Tom Ford uh, contour and Oh, I don't know what's up with me. I just literally can't find anything I need. Well, then I will just do it with my fingers. Hands up. That works as well. Oh my god, I'm so pale. I need the sun so so bad oh yeah and another update so finally all my late jobs got confirmed and i know exactly when my real holiday starts so i am going back to the philippines this year and i'm also gonna go to thailand which i'm super super excited about because in both places i've been before uh philippines i was there last year and thailand i was there like a couple of years ago and both countries i just love so all the tips are very very welcome and i'm taking this a little bit highlight i'm always putting like highlighter on i feel if you're not wearing anything tiny bit of highlighter helps already here Curl my eyelashes. Da -da. Okay. For mascara. Where is my mascara? All right. I'm using this lengthening mascara by uh, Lune Plus Aster. This has a very tiny brush, so it gives kind of like a natural, uh, natural look. So done. And for my cheeks, I'm going to use uh, Kosas. It's a new brand from LA and it's super nice. It has this really beautiful, like kind of brownish red blush. I actually don't need that much blush because I always have like super red cheeks for myself, but I just covered that up a little bit with foundation. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense. Just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. There we go. And for my lips. Because I'm just gonna grab some lunch with a friend, I don't like to use a lot of lipstick or anything. So I just have this uh, new lip balm by Tarte, which is kind of like, 
it's not a lip gloss it's not it's like a lip balm and it just it's a little bit minty and it just feels very good and it looks very good so i am all done um i'm gonna grab my stuff and then we are gonna go outside to grab a very special coffee <laughs> I walked outside right now and I'm walking over um, like the Albert Kuip market which is uh, like a very nice market in Amsterdam and we are on the way to a coffee shop but this is not an average coffee shop because some of you guys might know that in Holland uh, weed is actually legal and yeah there are like coffee places where you're allowed to smoke weed and hash and everything else Uh, I personally don't really smoke because it just gives me a headache and I just don't really like it. I fell asleep, I'm not fun at all, I'm not chill. So I'm just gonna have a coffee with you guys in a very Dutch coffee shop. Outside of the coffee shop and this is literally super close by apartment so I have a little coffee and what I got inside as well is a joint so I couldn't film too much inside because I don't really know if that's like allowed and I didn't want to ask because they would probably say no and I couldn't really show you guys so yeah inside you can just have all different kind of weeds all different kind of hash you can already have pre-rolled ones um, yeah, so I don't even smoke, so I don't even know. I just got this to show you guys. Like, it's kind of stupid what YouTube does to you. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just, if you haven't uh, visited Amsterdam yet, you're like really curious, then you have a little sneak uh, preview right here. And yeah, I feel like because smoking is allowed here, um, it is much more like normal and it's not really like a big deal because none of my dutch friends actually really smokes which is really funny because if i'm abroad in like america or anywhere else um a lot of people do smoke like to chill out and whatever so that's kind of like a fun a fun fact mm. so um this is going to be the last coffee talk before the end of the year and i really hope you guys enjoyed uh this series because I'm definitely going to continue this in the new year and yeah I'm super excited for everything to come and okay so yeah I'm super excited for what is about to come and I will keep you guys posted on everything and I will see you guys in my next video if you like the video if you like weeds, give it a big thumbs up. So in Dutch we say doe doei, which means bye bye. Also leave a comment below what is bye bye in your language.